Okay, I'm heading back to the other side of the hunting area. It's uh, at the last trap of the day. A female tapes. She's doing pretty good too. I ain't getting her out of there. I don't have any spare traps with me. But I don't know if you remember this set. This is that one where the caught the red fox in the Martin trap last winter. He was hanging there just like that Martin caught right by the head. This trail here goes down to a deer stand on the river. Back, oops, sorry about that so fast, but back this way and then there is where I have the new crossing over the river. So I'm heading back that way. Be my first time making the circle. Big catch for the day. Hey guys, uh, out in Fish Lake here, deer hunt almost over, a couple days left, I'm going to start dropping a few beaver traps and stuff. But I'm actually coming here to set an entrance, but these with the water a little bit lower than normal. These idiots have their uh, feed bed right over top of their channel. You can see it's just it's a long... Give me a sec here. Okay, so beaver house feed bed just comes about 10 feet wide straight out like that. So I decided I'm just going to put a bait set in. I'm only taking two beavers out of here. Water's pretty shallow, so I will just move it in like so. Push her down. And the beavers can come and get it. Just got a dry pole between the springs, a piece of bait in there. It has been the slowest week ever. Deer are all in lockdown, and then we had that, like I said before, that ice storm. Oh, and here's that otter that the wolves killed out on the ice. It's been here a week now, 10 days. The birds are just starting to pick at it. tracks all the way around it but they ain't coming up. So anyways, drop that thing in there and we'll cut that trail up the uh, right in that gully there up through the bush or through the chain of mountains. Beaver house up there too but I put a deer stand yesterday I'll go set that one. The deer seems to be one of these. But I was gonna, like I said, set the entrance with this trap holder. But I'm not chopping through all that feed. So there's only two beavers coming out of here. It didn't take long enough to bait even. No, it's just a, not quite the sample even. Oh, broke the trigger off on one side. That's the only thing I don't like about Belial's. Their triggers are very stiff wire, where the Savage O's are a soft wire. I've never had the trigger break on a Savage O yet, but lots break on the Belial's there. But you know, I think they're hard or expensive to replace. So, let's pitter patter, let's get at her, I guess. And see all, where am I? Okay, all that bush there. That's all going to be cut out in, over the next three years. Uh, there's not going to be a tree left standing that's higher than 20 feet on my trap line. Oh well. See down the trail. Hey guys, here we are at Fish Lake. It's one of the spots where we see wolves quite a bit. Just got bored of waiting. So I came down here and dropped a couple of 330 stands in here with they've got uh, dukes on them. And um 
got them blocked off about four feet apart. We went wide enough in the channel for two. So I've got them uh, set in parallel for otter or scratch or whatever comes by, but it's mostly an otter set. You can see here something going over the dam down in there. And right over there by that beaver hook there. That dead otter was on the ice the other day. That the wolves killed, I guess. So, anyways. About another hour or so before the hunters get out. Yep. So I'll head back to the tent. My last cup of coffee. I might anchor that one there a little bit better so it doesn't end up downstream where I have to go fishing for it. Alright. Those trap stands there are just the coolest things. So handy for setting entrances and channels like this. Anything for the... And they make them for the bigger trap. The Savage These standard ones, the Dukes and the Blyles fit in them. out here uh, I'm to check on a deer stand because we've had zero deer movement and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to zoom in on it. The deer right over there. Guys, most of the guys haven't seen a deer in days because they this ice storm we had just locked them up right in there through the bush. Well, from here I could shoot him if I had to. Right there he is. That's him right there. About just as he walked out of sight. stand we haven't really hunted for a while as you can tell with the tree now it's all dead and broken off sit here for a few minutes, see if that deer wanders by here. I come through here also to see if there's any marten sign, and I saw zero tracks. But I have, I don't know how many miles I've put on in the last few days. And I have not seen a mouse track anywhere. Which would 
be why there's no Martin around. Or very few, I shouldn't say none. There are some tracks here and there. Hey guys, we are over at, um, well, right over there is where I caught the otter. And this here, this is Martin slash Fisher set. And we got us another huge Fisher. And of course, I didn't bring a bear trap or my trap setters. So I was just coming down to pull up one pull out one of the deer tents. But that is another big dog fisher. Set again in one of with the running pole. One of the plastic boxes that I had made. Good catch. That's a big one. There's tracks here. Well, I'll see if I can get them trap that trap set. Or I'll just come back tomorrow and I'll pull the trap out and come back tomorrow with another trap. It's not completely frozen, but he's, we'll see, one or the other. Then we'll go check that otter trap. Okay, we're here at our uh, one and only otter set where we caught an otter the other day. And let's see what I see right there. That looks just like an otter tail. And again, of course, same as, well, I mean, the fisher I caught right in that patch of bush right there. So, of course, I still don't have any trap setters. Whoa! 
broke through there. Another little mini otter. I'm just going to have to do some more sticks to make this a little more to do with warm weather. That ice is eroding quickly. But another miniature otter. These will be the, the one I caught here earlier, and this one will be the first small otters I've caught since I've been out on this trap line. Oh, last two traps. I only checked uh, six traps today. The Martin traps are not looking good. I'm not sure how long I'll set them. As soon as we get some serious snow, so that I can tell what exactly uh, I have for Martin sign. I might just pull them all out and I'll leave a few fisher traps so I can try and thin them out. You know, I will end up catching a couple Martin in them probably, but I'll pull out big areas of Martin traps and just uh, leave, well, pull them out. I just won't set them. I only have one, two, six, seven Martin traps set right now. Seven sets all together. So I'll leave that one there because it's right on the edge of my line. It'll pull in some fisher and it'll come running by. And I'll put some around the edge of my line so I can take the fisher out and leave the marten for the main part. Let them breed if there isn't going to be enough. If this population is going to be down. And you know, with them ripping all that logging out of there. It's a uh, But it's uh, what happens. So I need some more sticks here to block this off a little better. You see now it's all uh, not a safe spot. But no, oh, another otter. Two otters, two fisher, three martins so far. Alrighty, let's rock and roll. Keep your boots dry like I almost just didn't. <laughs> <laughs>